So I'm not a producer, but I work very closely with lots of producers across uh, it, both internationally, nationally, locally. I also have lived in the Blue Mountains for 20 years, so I understand about working regionally and I try to work from home as much as I possibly can and have spent a lot of time uh, working on, on systems and um, methods by which I can work at home and exactly as you say, uh, give people the impression that I'm working professionally from my office and not listening to the birds and pegging out the washing. <laughs> so I, I do get all of that and I do think as a result of having created that opportunity for myself, it has allowed me to be more productive. I do think it is important um, to recognise when you need to be in the office in town and when you can be working from home and obviously it varies a lot depending on what it is that you're doing. But um, ordinarily, I do manage to work from home a couple of days a week um, and then I will go to my office at Fox uh, three days a week. And that three days a week will be about making sure that the people in my office are doing what, what I want them to be doing and that, that we're getting, um, that we're organised in that and communicating. And it'll also be the time that I'm having meetings with producers and so on. Um, I um, also have a, a perfect working example of or what I should also say is I've got an office in London and I've got an office in Cape Town. So that's me working from the Blue Mountains internationally. Um, and, you know, the big thing about working internationally for me that would be, the, would be true for anybody here is about kind of working with time differences. Um, so you know, that's the other advantage of working from home. When you are having to get on the phone um, at 11 o'clock at night or 4 o'clock in the morning or whatever it might be to have those conversations that you have to have, it's nice if you can do it in your dressing gown. Um, so it, it, it's, you know, a benefit to have those systems in place that allow that. Uh, my most recent working example of... Um, of living regionally and working internationally is a project um, that Moneypenny is working on and our Byron Bay Moneypenny representative, Ooh. Rose, <laughs> is actually the, the person who's working on that for us. So it's a UK project called, uh, it's changed its name recently but I like the original name, Simply the Pest. And um, it's about six UK pest inspectors who come out to Australia to meet real pests. And uh, so they are touring around the country with Australian pest inspector, pest controllers and, and finding out about all our beasties here. Um, the production office is in Sydney, but the production accountant is in Byron Bay. Um, and so that is something that I've been particularly passionate about developing. And in the same way that digital um, technology has allowed you producers to make films uh, more cheaply, to get them out there um, uh, more effectively in some respects, um, it has created opportunities administratively for us that makes this possible. And, you know, essentially the digital environment has created um, the cloud-based environment that makes it possible for us to work in this way. And the thing that I'm particularly passionate about is the paperless office. Um, so I, I've just got a short PowerPoint that I will take you through. So, um, as I say, um, that's Rose. And the reason why it's possible for Rose to do that is because of a, um, a system that we've introduced which I call MAP, being a, a combination of software. Uh, our software is Midas. So just to correct Ken before, I am doing a session after lunch on movie magic oh, budgeting. Right. Um, and movie magic budgeting is, is an international package that Helen um, also took 
you got some guys through yesterday and we talked about, so I'm talking about the technical side of movie magic versus Excel budgeting and how it interfaces with Screen Australia this afternoon. That's not, movie magic is not our uh, product, unfortunately. It's, a, it's an internationally accepted budgeting package which everybody should know about. But um, our software, which is for the financial management, it's project accounting software, uh, which, which kind of works for any project accounting, but has been developed very specifically by us for, for uh, film and TV management, and is called Midas. Um, and then we also offer our services in this cloud-based way. So, you know, we've seen across many corporates that, um, you know, even, I don't know about the ABC, but I know like the BBC, for example, they sent all of their uh, accounts payable offshore to India or whatever, where it could all be processed more cheaply. Some of the big corporates are sending some of that um, uh, back of house functionality in the accounts departments offshore. So in the same way that they're able to do that, we're trying to keep it all Australian or local, but we are allowing for that stuff to be happening um, remotely. So we can provide those services or we can facilitate people to, um, to provide those services. So we're working with um, bookkeepers and accountants, giving them the opportunity, as we have with Rose, to live where they choose to live apart from the producers being able to access those things and, and do their job more effectively wherever they choose to be. In addition to that, we have, having worked in the, the film industry for 35 years, a lot of specialist advice and systems and procedures that we put into the mix. So MIDAS stands for My Digital Accounting and Administration, um, so it is, it is basically a solution that allows you to keep absolutely everything that all the members of your team might need to work on in the cloud. So there's an immediate um, opportunity to be able to have a team that works in many different places, all accessing just what they need to in the cloud. And, you know, a lot of animation series I'm seeing at the moment, we're, we're working on a, an animation series called um, The Deep. And there, the people are, there are people in New Zealand, people in South Australia, people in Sydney, people in Queensland, all working on that one show. And when I went to the, um, to the rap party on the show, and I was thinking, I'm the accountant, I've been working remotely, I don't know anybody on this show. I found out that most people didn't know each other on the show because everybody had been working remotely from the writers, the producers, uh, the creatives on that, and all working in their living rooms in their slippers, not just me. So, uh, you know, that was really interesting to see. E for um, entertainment or, or um, elect uh, um, electronic so essentially we are mainly focused in the entertainment industries and I don't, I'm, I'm not sort of really interested. We've often thought that our solutions could work for the construction industry, but my passion lies with the entertainment industries. But it is interesting to me and as referred to by Dana is that all these various platforms are all merging together. So we have the opportunity to work, uh, to apply our skills and our systems and our solutions, not only to film, TV, documentary, but to events. And as we see more web series happening and different platforms happening, it is giving us all, of, all the opportunity to think how we can translate what we do and how we do it into the different opportunities that are out there. And so, once again, increase our ability to work on a, in a sustainable way. Um, and S is for software or solutions, as I like to think of it. Um, it it's interesting. I, I did come up with a new name um, just recently for, for it when I was at the documentary conference because we there's a lot of talk these days about SaaS, software as a service. And essentially, that's what we've got in terms of the software. The software it can, can actually provide a solution for people to work um, remotely by itself, but then 
we have other bits that we add on to it. So sass with bits is another term that I like to give to it. Um, so a, a really critical element to all of this is the digital production manager. And that's what I want it to be. I don't want it to be, this isn't an accounting solution. This is a digital production management solution. It allows everybody to access, as I say, what they need to um, from wherever they are. But what we've done digitally is just um, emulated what happens in a normal production office when in days gone by we kind of almost had to sit in the same space as each other. Um, now we don't need to sit in the same space. So where at one time our accounts department would have had a series of in trays at the, at the front for people to put all of their documentation in and then we would go ahead and process it and then we'd, we'd process it, we'd put it into our, um, our filing cabinet. Well, we've just turned that into digital in trays and digital filing cabinets. So whoever needs to give us information pops it on our cloud-based server into the digital in trays that we have available to you and then it gets processed by us or by, by your bookkeeper or your accountant who, or by yourself. Um, so it's really digital in trays, digital filing cabinets. Digital purchase orders allow um, the art department, wherever they are, to say what they're ordering and get that approved by the line producer, wherever they are, and then go to the accountant, wherever they are. So all of this now allows everybody to be in different spaces, but doing exactly what we used to do when we were sending bits of paper around. Um, digital payroll solutions allows people to submit their uh, crew information, their bank accounts, their superannuation information to us through web-based web um, functionality that they can just pull up on their phone and provide that information to us. And so all of these digital solutions and web-based solutions not only allow people to be submitting this information almost in real time wherever they are, but it also cuts out the things that's always frustrated me as a production accountant, that I was having to take bits of paper from other people, re-key them and taking up time. So what we're doing with this solution is not only allowing people to work remotely, but we're also allowing it all to happen much more effectively and, and cheaply. Um, so, you know, I, I do have sort of more detail on all of these things, but as I say, fundamentally, um, it's the, the purchase order, the accounts payable, the petty cash, the payroll, all of these can be done remotely and, and without paper. And the advantage that it has um, is that then you've got a collection of all of the paperwork that's associated with the show that you've got not only during the course of the production to access, but also subsequently um, when it has to go to audit, when it has to go to Screen Australia, if you've accessing the offset and so on. So what we're also doing in here is saying for the emerging low budget producer, um, they can do a lot of all of this stuff themselves. In fact, with these systems, they can operate totally independently and potentially with, with very little um, accounting input. And so we're also giving line producers on low budget productions, the opportunity to add another string to their bow, to learn how all of this works and provide a, a combined um, service to a production which might be both line producing and the production accounting within this system. And that is also something on documentaries they can be doing remotely. So there's a lot of opportunity here, I think, for people to skill up and for people to think of ways that they can provide these services whilst living in Byron Bay or wherever it is that they choose to live. So, so uh, that's really um, you know, the extent of, of what I want to get across to you, that there are ways now that have been made 
accessible to people um, that, that mean you can function in ways that we couldn't have done um, a few years ago, just because the cloud's given us that opportunity. So hopefully that makes sense to everybody, and, and I'm very happy to talk to anybody about how we might work with you to either provide services and opportunities or to train you to use these systems and create opportunities for yourselves.